grandfather had the custom thrashing machine. And in the fall they would travel, road them to uh, Bancroft area to uh, drive sawmills with the belt power. So, uh, that's how they made their living, traveling to Bancroft at about three mile an hour. What, what, what was your grandfather's name? Frank. Frank Stapley? Yeah, Frank Stapley. And what's your name, please? Ed. Ed. This is Liam. Hi, Liam. Why does this one have two steering wheels? Just convenience. One's for lining up the belt on the far side, and the other one's for driving down the road. You can see better on the one side than the other, that's all. Just convenience. Yep. How long does it take you to get it ready, to get it steamed up or powered up? Oh, two, two and a half hours, generally, when the water's cold. From one day to the next, if, you can, if you're going to use it two days in a row, the water's still warm. It'll only take about an hour to get steam on. It takes a lot of water. How much water? <laughs> It'll look to take 100 gallons today. Where does it go into? Where does it go into? It's, it's called an injector. Yeah. And, uh, this valve has steam going through it and yep. steam shoots by yep. the valve and, and it sucks the water into the tank and okay. it with steam. Tell me about the, the day you drove it from Campbellford to the museum. Well actually it was Mini at uh, Paul Jeff's farm and we drove it down and we used uh, unpaved roads of course because of the wheels. They don't like them on asphalt. Yeah. And uh, we used the uh, railroad bed for the, the last part of the journey. Come here, no problem. The only problem we had was the wagon had a flat tire. Nothing wrong with the engine at all. It hadn't run in like 15 or 20 years. It was a, such an excitement when it arrived. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty pretty neat outfit, really. Where did your grandfather live? In Sterling. Sterling, okay, yeah. yes. Yep. He had three of these units. And, uh, Three thrashing machines and uh, two portable sawmills, I believe, and one permanent sawmill set up in Sterling, right at his home. Is one of the engines at M Milton? Yes. Yep, the one in Milton has a cab and a canopy on it, come right from the factory, and my grandfather bought it brand new in 1906. <laughs> Oh, my God.